welcome one and all to something a little bit different. This morning I was reading Peterson's Ladies National Magazine. Just like you do, you know. I'm sure we've all had to read this one day or another. It's from 1883. Um, yeah, I, I found something rather interesting in the uh, in this magazine here. Um, that's kind of cool. Creepy girl with a couple of cats. Uh, I think there's a lot of stuff about like fashion and shit in here. Like these are all the things that the big, big ballers used to wear. It's pretty sick. Styling on the haters. Fuck. I got a text message. Who's that? Oh, it's Instagram or something. Anyway, um, yeah, these these ladies here would they just style in on the haters. Um, got a song. It's kind of nice. She's dead. Um. Anyway, yeah, let's fast forward to uh, the good shit that I was reading earlier. I found something absolutely astonishing. I think it's on page 77. Yep, here we go. A joyful greeting. And man, is it a joyful greeting. This is written by a doctor of some sort. He, um, he made a discovery. Let's just say that. And boy, oh boy is it just something else here look he says I am sent among men to bear tidings of a discovery that marks an epoch as important to the health of mankind as Newton's apple and Franklin's kite were to natural science so this is some important shit basically is what he's saying um, he goes on to talk about how the worn out men of business and the weak and nervous women shall um once once they take this shit they're basically going to just be the best people of all time they're going to be strong they're going to be healthy they're going to be fucking smashing their way through life you feel me um let's see He says, um, this remedy is a medicine, not a beverage, and is to be taken according to full and perfectly plain directions accompanying each bottle. Um, so it's a, it's a nice medicine that he's made for us. Uh, you bet, you, you're going to be astonished when you find out how pretty insane this shit is. He says, well, what's, it, what's it called here? Um, yeah, yeah, he keeps calling it the Golden Medical Discovery. It's uh, it prepared and offered to the public by the World's Dispensary Medical Association of Body. Yeah, based, yeah. It's, uh, it's a Golden Medical Discovery. That's what he keeps calling it. And he never tells you what it is until the very end. It's just the Golden Medical Dis Discovery. Um... Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is this is some good shit right here. Um, While the golden medical discovery's curative effects are almost immediately felt, it is not merely a temporary stimulant, but is a certainly a safe and complete cure in all cases for which it is recommended. As it is, that certain misery and death will follow their neglect. Dr. Pierce's golden medical discovery will not cure club feet, whatever that is, will not refurnish armless or legless unfortunates with new perfect limbs, and it is not guaranteed to even a dozen... Fuck. Dr. Pierce's golden medical discovery will not cure club feet, will not refurnish armless or legless unfortunates with new and perfect limbs, and it is not guaranteed that even a dozen bottles applied to any stray portion of a second-hand skeleton will develop such member into an animate human from form. Sorry. 
it uh basically what he's saying is it's not gonna grow back your limbs it's not gonna grow back your limbs and if you pour a dozen or so bottles on a skeleton it's not guaranteed to bring them back to life you never know it might but it's not guaranteed so when I when I read that I was I was kind of shocked I really started wondering what this sh fucking golden discovery golden medical discovery might be if it if it's not guaranteed he says not guaranteed to bring somebody back to life what the fuck is that I'm sure it probably doesn't but he won't tell you that shit he says it's just not guaranteed so you might as well buy a dozen bottles of the fucker and pour it on your dead grandma. See if she comes back. Um. So, let's see here. You know, here he starts talking about, I think, what this shit cures. And my goodness, does it cure a lot of stuff. It's a real mouthful. <sighs> let's, let's, let's go here. This wonderful medicine cures all humors from the worst scrofula to a common blotch, pimple, or eruption. Erysipelas, salt room, fever sores, scaly or rough skin, in short, all diseases caused by bad blood are conquered by this powerful, purifying, and invigorating medicine. Great eating ulcers rapidly heal under its benign influences. Especially has it manifested its potency in curing tetter boils, carbuncles, scrofulous sores, and swelling, and swelling, white swellings, I think that says goiter or thick neck, and enlarged glands. Consumption which is scrofulous disease of the lungs, is promptly and positively arrested and cured by this sovereign and God-given remedy. If taken before the last stages are reached, so, be, like, what? what is this shit? It better be fucking God semen. That's a long, long list. I don't think I even read all of them. Long list of things that this golden medical discovery cures. I mean... It was at this point that I was kind of starting to doubt the man. He, he makes a lot of bold claims. And he doesn't guarantee that it won't bring your dead grandma back to life. But... You know, he seems trustworthy enough. To all suffering from lassitude, weariness, despondency, lack of vigor, or ambition, be it man, woman, or child, Dr. Pierce's golden medical discovery will speedily impart new tone, vigor, and life into the whole system. I mean, fuck. I want some of this shit. The haggard face will grow round, ruddy, and beam with the expression of long-lost confidence. This shit reshapes your actual face. It won't grow your face back, I'm assuming, but it reshapes the fucker. Goddamn. Um, the step will be firm and elastic. And the re relieved sufferer will once more enjoy in common with fellow men that feeling of proprietorship in earth, air, and being only and being only fully realized by those in perfect health. So no matter where you're at in life, one dose of this shit, you're back to perfect health and you're looking good, you're feeling good, you're invincible. The golden medical discovery will not make drunkards or opium eaters. I don't know what that means. I, I think that means it won't get you addicted to drugs or alcohol. On the contrary, actually. Any unfortunate, driven by trouble, adversity, or inherited appetite, 
to the use of insidious stimulants will find the discovery of great assistance in efforts to break the chains binding him to a shameful and miserable existence. Okay, so it'll make you not an alcoholic anymore, and it'll relieve you of any drug addictions as well. Good to know, good to know. Wow. I could really use me some of this. What is it? What is it, Dr. whatever his name, Pierce or something? <laughs> Those feeling out of sorts with no with no uh they can't ex they can't explain why they're feeling bad fucking bam fixed it golden medical discovery bitches um irritable petulant fretful gloomy yep it's good for all that shit make you full of encouragement and joy dr pierce dr pierce golden medical discovery my goodness, dude. Like, what is it? Place your bets. What in fucking God's name could this golden medical discovery be? Let's find out. I think it's down here. Um. Okay, let's read this. In stubborn or long-seated affections, and where the bowels are very costive, the gentle, though certain action of the discovery will be more rapid and satisfactory by supplementing Dr. Pierce's pleasant purgative pellets. Ooh, wait. Well, I am extremely, extremely disappointed. He doesn't tell you what the f what. He doesn't tell you what it is. He just doesn't. That's. Oh boy. All you gotta do is just take some of the goddamn golden discovery with some of these uh these pills, these uh vegetable pills, and your goddamn invincible i knew there was a reason vegetarians never died oh baby i'm i'm very disappointed are you kidding me he gives it all of this hype he gives it all of this hype cures goddamn everything doesn't tell you what it is you just gotta get it you just gotta get it what a bunch of ass horse shit god damn it what a what what the fuck? Um, I I'm not sure. I believe this man. So back in apparently in 1883, just any motherfucker could be like, <laughs> "Yo, dude, I I made a fucking cure for everything. It's called the Golden Discovery, and it it doesn't even stop here." If we go down a little way, we've got uh, Ayers Sarsaparilla. Better believe that shit cures everything. Uh, four Seasons Speedily cures rheumatism, neurology, rheumatic gout, cure blah blah blah, fucking everything. Ayers Pills, he makes pills as well as Sarsaparilla. That shit cures everything as well. Like, like what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Actually, and then down, down a little way even more. Yeah, look. Pillow inhaler. It's a method that concentrates the science and common sense of the age upon one thing that is the healing of such diseases as catar, bronchitis, and met and lung troubles. Get this. It applies medicated air. What the fuck is medicated air? To the mucons lining of the nose you oh no that says mucus I'm stupid to the mucus whining of the nose like are you kidding me how many just insane cures to everything do you need Let's see what we got down here that, that was as far as I read I couldn't I just I just had to I had to get the word out that vegetable pills can cure you of just about anything. 
Reasons why Miss Thompson's patent waves are better than all others. Um, fancy and dry goods. Uh, make your own rugs. The diamond dies. Man, there's there's just a there's so much to read here. Oh shit, this bitch is ugly. Pearls in the mouth. Beauty and fragrance are communicated to the mouth by sozodont, which renders the teeth white and the gums rosy and the breath sweet. It, is thir it thoroughly removes tartar from the teeth and prevents decay, I assume that says, sold by druggists. I'm sure it is. It's all just, it's all just, I mean, shit, maybe it worked, but sounds like a bunch of bullshit to me. I owe my restoration to health and beauty to Katikura, Katikura Remedies. Sure, this shit, what does this do? Disfiguring humor, humors, humiliating eruptions, itching, like, fuck, fuck. If only our medicine today was half as good as the shit they had back in 1883. What's this? Oh yeah, they like to put in like random knitting, weaving patterns and shit. Telescope for only a dollar. Shit was probably like a hundred dollars back in the day, I don't know. And, yep, that's the end of that magazine. This shit is crazy, dude. I've been just looking at weird shit like this pretty much all day. I mean, I say all day, it's only like midday, but... Yeah, there you go. Fucking Peterson's Ladies National Magazine. Did all the best cures for everything. And I'll leave you with a creepy girl holding a couple of cats. See ya.